Share this with you guys. We have um, important things to discuss today. Share this with you guys. Please share, share, share. share. Let us share the video. You are welcome, guys. Welcome to my talk show. Please share, share this video. Please and thank you. Share, please. Yes, so that's my personal person. That's Oda Boy Yobosa. Please share, guys. We have a lot to talk about today, guys. Interesting topic, weight loss. Share, guys. Let us share this video, guys. Let's share, please. Thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for coming out. Share this video. Share, share, share. Thank you, sir. That's Richard Edogo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Please kindly share this video. Share so that it goes viral, so you could help somebody. Kindly share. Where are my sharers in the house? Make them come, come share. <laughs> so we're going to have with us today, Mr. Deji Alabi. He's going to be disclosing a whole lot, a whole lot. So everybody with a, uh, all of us don't carry big, big belly for front based on a, uh, Fatness, COVID, COVID, COVID nineteen, uh, uh, wahala. So it's time to take off those um fat. It's time to gain our summer body back. So guys, I urge you to take advantage of this opportunity. It does not come every day, you know. Come and hear from the horse's mouth. So kindly share this video. 
And guys, uh, I just released my village people to re village people to Rio. Guys, I beg kindly go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh. It's showing on your screen. So there's no excuse of oh, I don't know your YouTube channel. See it here, it's on your screen. Please oh, subscribe so I can watch um my latest uploads. I just uploaded one. Village people to go and watch it. It is mad. Trust me, it is mad. So go and watch it. So also follow me on Instagram, please, please, and thank you. I know the first anybody, and I know me not beg, I do beg. Make you not subscribe, make you not follow me. You know, so that's how you actually get the best of me. You know, on my part, I'll try my best to give you interesting content. You on your part, subscribe, follow me, okay? Let's share this video while we wait for our guest. He will join us shortly, shortly like this, shortly. So before he comes, guys, share, 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 share. Please and thank you. Hmm. Today we're talking about effective weight loss solutions. Yes, so a whole lot of us have questions about this weight loss matter. So bring your questions, prepare your questions so you ask. You get direct answer. Let's share. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep sharing. Let's keep sharing, guys. Lovely. Oh, I'm blessed. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Please share this video. Share, share, share. Share this video so it goes viral, so that others can benefit. Please share. Mm -hmm. So before our guests come, let me quickly give you guys one gist. One shot gist like this. Now, wow, my people, the way some people they do for YouTube, now I go to, I'll be sorry, Facebook. You go, Kuku, they hungry, you may you come up from the Facebook because the matter, you ready to get a CB. You understand? I just forget my own to be person just right to give me for Maureen Ostazu. I thank you. Thank you for joining us. So I beg, help us share, share, share. All the sharers in the house, thank you. That's my international mama, Florence Omoruna. Thank you for joining us now. Kindly share, share this video so it goes viral. Make all of us pack our big, big belly come outside. Oh, yeah, make it come share. So that's <laughs> solution don't come now. <laughs> solution don't come. So as I was saying, oh, my gist, oh, if I can sit down my own, oh, I saw for day for, I, I did Facebook. Person just writes, give me for Facebook. Hi. Make it not be like, say, they go say person the form. Now I reply, hi. As I reply, hi, the next thing when I want to see, the person say, where do you live? Now I tell her where I did stay. I said I did for Canada. Hey, big grand view. Thank you, sister, for coming. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Prince James. I know. Thank you. I know you're always there. Thank you for joining us. So, uh, sister Yobosa say, please don't listen to them. I know <laughs> they are one like too much, but I must talk this one because it didn't vex me. I must talk and so, anyways, the the guy I say hi, now I say hi. The next thing one I say, where where do you live? Where do you where are you based? Now I say Canada. Here when my brother just stay here, Canada. Don't be smart thing, you Ah, thank God. I have been looking for Canadian visa since. Ah, see as God send you come, better person. <laughs> better person, see as God bring you. Ah. God don't answer my prayer. I'll see me for Canada. I beg, send the invitation, send the invitation, send documents. Make I just they come, I beg. This is contact me. I can't fold my hand. They, they look. 
True. When I say guy, I don't know you from my table. I just, we just, you say hi, I reply you. What you want to be sending invitation? You want to just come uh, uh, Canada, Nana. The next thing, the guy don't the vessel. He said, now I make blacks, they suffer. Blacks can never hear blacks. Blacks, hey, <laughs> hey, I say guy. Our self-centeredness, you never do. We too, we too do. I don't know you, you don't know me. You know, write me, say, how are you? How are you day? This, that, that. You say, where do you base? I just tell you, so yeah, bring the invitation. Now, so things they work. So I bet people when join that category, make gonna receive sense. So things not they work like that too. Now, so the thing just easy. Everybody will never enter. So I take or take back now. Hey, that's another of my international papa. My the, the world best producer, Godwin Idios, is here today. Mm, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. I beg my people without uh, much uh, uh, further ado, make I just invite our guest so that um, he will come and talk to us. <laughs> so I am inviting Deji Alab. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Our guest is still not ready. We're waiting. Okay, I think he's here now. Okay. <laughs> are you sure that my are you sure that my studio you directed it at first? Or you went somewhere else? <laughs> I kind of I was in your studio. I don't know what happened. I think you, you didn't know we were running my time. Well, I, I had to... How are you doing? Yeah, very fine, thank you. I had to quickly lock the door to the room so there will be no inter interruptions. Okay, nice yeah. one. Thank you for joining us. So, um, you know now, as we always do for all our programs, we we'll, we'll always ask you to introduce yourself because um, oh. uh, for the benefit of those that don't really know you, can you kindly of introduce yourself again to us? Um, well, um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody who is watching. Uh, it's nice to see you or to have you here again. Uh, my name is Dejalabi. I'm a trained microbiologist. I graduated from uh, a Nigerian university called the University of Adoikiti. It's now called EXO, right? My, uh, my special emphasis is in uh, medical microbiology, as it were. I've also been trained as a plant-based nutritionist. So I'm an expert, a certified expert in that field. Um, um, what else do I need to say? <laughs> I help people yeah. use diets. I use people, I help people use diet and lifestyle modification to handle all those of bone get diseases and conditions where you don't get toxic, you know, get cure. So right, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my, my, my viewers know, I told them before, I said, we are going to solve this man dry. All the knowledge that you know, just go and complete, give us, make it eat time because we need knowledge to grow as well, to function properly in life. Oh, so, right. so today we are going to be talking about um, weight loss, effective right. weight loss solutions. Awesome. awesome. So, um, weight loss and um, weight ma and maintainers are top concerns for most of us. So. You know, me, I've been saying it since we tell our big, big, big lesson. That's where it actually starts from. <laughs> you know, but there are so many rumors and facts out there mm. that um, it's hard to keep track of what really works. So mm. what do you think works best for weight loss? Is it exercise? Is it nutrition, food, supplements? Is it, is it the keto diet? So let's <laughs> it actually works because we are tired of testing waters. We are all trying sure. our food. Me, I've used lots and lots of stuff. So please, we want to know what you think works best. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying to also get some people on board. Uh, you know, uh, right. Um, there are so many things out there. And I really want to let people understand that weight loss is, there is no one size fit all when it comes to issues of weight loss. Mm -hmm. And um, it's important. People don't get to know that. I've seen people who just jump on the bandwagon that this is the latest thing people are using in town to lose weight. And before you know it, they begin to use it. And so after trying it for a while, it doesn't work for them. They be like, I was scammed, or oh, that you know they work and all of that. Because there are so many factors to be considered 
in addressing weak management issues in anybody. Mm -hmm. That people have you have you listened to people? I even you, Sandra. I know say before you born picking, you know, you know fat treat like this now. No. No. Now I want thin, slim, no, like slim, 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 the sexy <laughs> girl. I don't know that sexy part. So <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that you know, but after having the first child, the second child, you know, you begin to grow out of proportion. It's not because child birth on his own. I've seen ladies who are who suffer their children. Sandra, this one is painful to me. When I see ladies who will refuse to breastfeed their children because mm -hmm. so then when you breastfeed, your boobs are going to sag. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Where are people getting all these kind of stories from? Who is feeding them with all these kind of theories? They do not hold water. They are not true. And it's, it's important for us to properly educate people that, look, there are a few things that are factors that are meant to be considered when we come to issues of weight loss. And I think there are about seven of them. So when people come to me and talk about weight loss, I sit them down, we go through the whole process, then I can actually begin to eliminate one after the other. These are the reasons why you are having weight. Some I've seen people who are who are starving themselves to death. They don't even eat regularly, whatever that person will eat. Yet they are not even losing the weight. You see, my concern is for people. In fact, when people are saying they are size 14, size 16, you, you don't have weight loss problem. I thought people who are size 24, size 22. <laughs> These are the real cases I really want to talk to today. I hope they are not sure. People who, <laughs> I'm serious because. If we are to address the issues of their weight management, there are so many things for us to consider. So that would be my first point of call today, that there is no one size fits all when it comes to weight management. It's important to identify the cause. Why are you adding, why are you gaining weight uncontrollably? That is the word. Why are you not able to control your weight, your excess weight gain? So like I said, there are about seven factors responsible. Thank you. Oh, my word. So, um, with what you just said, it depends on you as a person. Right. So it's not as if um, um, it's not it's not compulsory that what works for A would definitely work for B. No. So, no. It's, yeah. Okay. No. I get it. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't work that way, right? Yeah. Thank you, Fortune. Two more. Thank you for joining us. Well done. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lucky or DIC. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. You are welcome. We must lose this weight to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, there is a lot of gist too that um, eating after eight pm can actually, you know, make you fat. So is it true? We only hear lots of gist now. <laughs> so <laughs> eating after eight pm or eating at night does it add to your weight or not? Um, honestly speaking. Uh, understanding what the body does and what face the body is is what informs the time to eat, what to eat at what time, and how to eat at what time. Mm -hmm. So, I identify three things what do you eat, what to eat at what you know, when do you eat, what to eat at what time. And then how do you eat what you eat at the time you are eating it? Mm -hmm. So in 24 hours, in 24 hours, your body goes through a three-phase circle. And each circle, the body is performing a particular function, which is the peak function of the body at that time. We have to understand the body has over 50 trillion cells. Okay. 50 trillion cells. I wish they can convert that cell to dollar. I give. know, it will make sense. <laughs> if it makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So you have 50 trillion cells, and these cells are carrying out several activities simultaneously every day, every second. And that is what calls you, that is what makes you a living being. The moment, even after you die, these cells are still working. Mm. Yeah, because the process of degeneration is also is also. There are also cellular processes that are going on, even when you have stopped breathing. So for the body to decay, for the cells to decay, it's, it's still a process. In fact, by the time a person is certified dead, the brain of that person is still alive, 
like sciences has proven that the brain is still alive for, for some minutes, mm. able to still pick signals from the environment. Wow. Yes. Now, now, so all these processes are there are a lot of processes going on, but for these three phases every day, three processes are peak. That is, they are the major processes the body is doing or going through. And so if we can understand these processes, it's going to help us to be able to align what we eat, when we eat, and how we eat. So it will help us to be able to help the body to moderate our weight in a good way. We'll be able to control our weight. So that question of after 8 o'clock, do not eat, why is it relevant? Is because what the body is doing at that phase, at that gap of the circle, may not support you eating certain kind of food if at all you have to eat that's number one number two as we age as we grow up in life two functions that are important to our weight control weight management they decrease with age what are those two functions number one function is our ability to sleep yeah when you look at babies when a child is formed, a child is in the stomach, the womb of the mother, not stomach, sorry, in the womb of the mother. I now, know. the child... <laughs> the mother must have swallowed the child up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the child, the child sleeps almost all the time while in the womb. is in, is in darkness, so to speak. If we're going to use that word, there is no... There is no uh, how do I call it right now? No illumination, so to speak. So when the child comes out, you know, he opens his eyes, he's trying to adapt and pick signals, like signals. You know, that is also important if you have kids. Some, some, some kids have started having issues with their sight from birth. In Nigeria and in some developing countries, some of these are not picked early. In developed countries, if a child is having issues with the sight, it is picked from birth. Before a certificate is issued to you and you take care of it from just with you, they have tested all the vital organs of that body, of that child, to be sure this child is fit. If there are things to be detected, that they are detected right from there. There are kids that even right from birth, they are not responding to light. So that can be tested by how they move their pupil. Some, some will just be staring just like that because it's a new environment to them. Now, after being given birth to, kids only do about three or four things. They eat. They sleep, they cry, and they poo. Yeah, and they pee as well. And yeah, they pee, they pee and poo. Make that one one function. <laughs> they do. And of all the three, the one they do most is sleep. Yeah. They sleep. Baby sleep eighteen, if not it's between eighteen to twenty hours of the day. While growing up, you discover that as they grow up, their ability to sleep begins to decrease. They can stay awake for a longer time. Now, when they begin to attend school, even in school, in nursery or kindergarten, whatever we call them, they have what they call a nap time for them. Because there is no way you want to keep a child that is about six years old, keep that child active for eight hours. It's not possible. At some point between the eight hours, that child is going to fall asleep. It's just normal, right? So because they cannot stay awake. So as they begin to enter primary school, elementary school, they begin to stay awake the more. Even in primary one, primary two, they still have to give them nap time. Some good schools, we have bed for them. Mass sleep max where they put them to go sleep. But as they enter primary three, primary four, they can be in school and not sleep throughout the eight hours of study and go back home, right? But the issue is that as they now as we begin to grow and transit into adulthood, even it now becomes difficult to sleep. That if you sleep and somebody wakes you up and interrupts that sleep, it will be difficult to go back to <laughs> responsibility is that yeah, body's ability to produce melatonin has decreased. It was at a very high level at a baby, at infancy. As somebody grows up and age, that ability to produce melatonin will begin to decrease. So you now see some people that they will even need to rely on medications to, to be able to sleep properly. Yeah. So I have an entire video on sleeplessness. If you have issues with sleeplessness, if you subscribe to my YouTube, you will see those videos there on my YouTube. How to yeah. Yeah. Sleepless, how you approach sleep and how you can stop the issues of sleeplessness. Okay, um, this woman don't disappear again. I don't know. Nepa, I don't know who, who gives her address to Nepa. Nepa has gone to her house. 
Okay, now the second function, let's pray she appears again. The second function of the human body, oh, okay. I thought did I, did I go out of my own studio. Can you imagine? I wonder what happened. Nepa came to see you in your house. <laughs> <laughs> but the second function that decreases with our age is our ability to digest food. So our digestion decreases with age. If you see a 16-year-old boy, a 16-year-old boy and a 60-year-old man, if you give them the same size, both of ever, and you swallow, you put it there, give them the same size, same quantity, and they finish it. Now, in two hours, that 16-year-old boy will probably be looking for another food to eat. But that 60-year-old man in two hours is still struggling to digest what he has eaten. Why? The body no longer has the ability to digest food naturally. So at that particular age, it's advisable that you eat food that still have their digestive enzymes in place so that your body does not rely only on the digestive ability of the body to digest food. All right. So these two factors are also very important in how we do weight control and weight management. There is, you, there's no way you want to control your weight. I, have, I said about seven reasons. You want to control weight, your level of stress is still as high as it used to be. These people who sell you weight control packages will not tell you all of that. They just tell you one medication that, okay, go and use it, be on this diet. If your body cannot control the production of cortisol and adrenaline properly, your body will not be able to unlock certain keys and enzymes that will be necessary for digestion to take place. So when you can digest certain foods in your system, they are stored up in your adipose tissue as fats. Sure. Right. So for some people, it is stress. I see people who had weight because of stress. And so for us to control your weight, you have to sort of address your stress factors and reduce those things that are giving you stress. Until we do that, we can't control your weight reasonably. Mm. So that, that could be a factor for some people. For some people, it is the best control pills, the family planning method that they use. Again, anything that is used by a woman that affects their hormonal circle or distorts their hormonal balance will likely affect their weight management. Yeah. I have seen women who are big. They just, after having kids, you know, they not, they, that's what they say. They will all, they will all say, it is after I have my kids that I started gaining weight. They, what they will forget to say is that after having kids, I wanted to stop having kids. I started using birth yeah. control yeah. methods. And most of the birth control methods they use, they are hormone control. Mm. Or they are hormone sensitive. They are hormonal birth control pills. And so I've seen women that from the waist down, they are okay. But from, from the waist up, from the waist up, they begin to add the weight. You start seeing muscle. They begin to grow muscle as if they are going to fight and to the future. Yeah. And you're wondering, what did they do this woman now? Something is wrong. Something has been introduced into our system that's already affecting our circle. And because of that hormonal distortion, our body can no longer metabolize properly. Our rate of our metabolism rate has been decreased. Our ability to digest food has been decreased. So everything she's consuming is being stored up as fats in our system. Our body can no longer burn carbohydrate the way it used to burn carbohydrates. And now people are saying, no, oh, carbohydrate is the devil. No, carbohydrate is necessary for the human body. Let me give you, because some people say, no, I don't use carb. It's carb that is making me to grow fat. You need carbohydrate. You need protein. You need fat. You need minerals. You need vitamins. All these are things that your body requires to grow strong and to grow healthy. That's true. Oh, thank you so much for that. Um, um, Odun Soya Kende, thank you for joining us. Last born, last born. Okay, thank you for joining us. Hey, Joy, fair Joy, thank you. You are not late, my sister. <laughs> we are still here doing it. So, guys, um, if you look on the screen, you are going to see um, uh, Mr. Deji Alabit's um, YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe, subscribe, follow him on Instagram. He will be of a lot of help. Trust me, he will be of a lot of help to you. One day you will need him. That's what I always say to people. So try and subscribe. So um, our next question. Now. Mm. So uh, generally, just a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to say generally, like um, I noticed that when you start getting fat, you start to crave food a lot. Like you want to eat everything, you know, 
you know, for people who crave sweets, they crave, you know, chocolates and all of that. So what do you do? How do you do to stop? I mean, what do you do to stop those cravings? <laughs> yeah, I know that carb is good. I know that um, protein is good. Everything, it has to be balanced. You know, so you taking extra sweets and all those things. You know, it happens to me at times. You know, at times I'll just be like, I beg. Now fat, I fat. I'm not keep pressing. I'm not going to go there. I beg. I just... <laughs> No, I'm not the person at all. So <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just go for whatever I am craving for. But it is not good all the time because um it's not helping us at all, you know. So what do we do to stop the craving? All right, uh, Sandra, first of all, let me say that um, there is nothing wrong with cravings. Okay. It's our interpretation that is wrong. So I'll start by saying your body does not know food. As it were, your body doesn't know gari, rice, eba, kulikuli, you know, name all those food, akara, moi, moi. Your body doesn't know that. I explained earlier on that there are 50 trillion cells in the human body, and these 50 trillion cells are carrying out activities every time of the day and that um, these activities will go on even after man is dead, right? So the body requires certain nutrients to carry out these activities. Thank you, Richard. The body requires certain nutrients to carry out these activities. And now you need to understand that this is what the body is asking for. For example, if somebody is building a house, you are laying, you need cement. You need sand, you need water, you know, you mix all of this together and then you want to start building. Now you need blocks, you need building blocks and all of that. Then you need some other tools to gauge what you are doing. So that's how to ensure that you are still building according to pattern and according to plan. It's the same way every day, every cell in our body is engaged in building activities, right? So what they need to build are what we call what we call nutrients. So what the body requires are nutrients. The body is not asking for gari eba or whatever. And so these nutrients are in the food that we ingest, all right? And so per time, the body needs us to give us, to give it the nutrients. It doesn't know the food. Once you eat the food, what the body is looking for in that particular food are those nutrients. When the body cannot get the nutrients, what you're going to get is garbage in, garbage out. Exactly. Let me give you an example. You will never eat salad and then go to the toilet and poo, and you find salad in your poo. If you eat our leafy vegetables and you overcook them and boil them the way people used to boil them in those days, they will cook and cook and cook them. If you go to the toilet and you poo, you will see the strain, oh, yeah. all those things. You, why is that happening? It's because there are no, number one, your body cannot digest all of those leaf. So it's garbage in, it's going on the same way. No nutrient in them, you have overcooked them. The nutrients in those vegetables are pharma sensitive. So because you have overcooked the nutrients, the phytochemicals, the phytonutrients, the digestive enzymes that are involved, that are included in those things, the body can't process them, it throws everything out. Mm. But vegetable is good. But that particular vegetable that that person has consumed and prepared, is no longer good, the body can't identify it as food or as nutrient. The same is applicable when you now see people who eat raw salad. Salad is raw, it's not cooked. Because it is raw, the phytochemicals, phytonutrients, and digestive enzymes in them are still present. So when you eat them, even when your body can't digest them, the digestive enzymes in those leaves will help your body to process them and digest them. So the body can take out the nutrients in them and convert them into food. Mm. So that is what happens. Now, so when you have cravings, Craving shows that your body is deficient in certain nutrients. Yeah. So it may be like, okay, some people say, I have craving for cookies. There is something, there is a particular, it's because you have trained your body for cookies over the years, and your body is getting that nutrient in that trace amount from cookies, right? It's not getting that nutrient from any other food, but it's getting it from cookies, right? So this time around, Maybe you stop cookies. The body now wants that particular nutrient. You are gravitating towards going to take cookies because that is what your body has been trained as a source or as a pathway 
for which you introduce that nutrient into the body. Despite the fact that there might be some other things in the cookie that is not good for your health. So when you ingest those ones, both the good and the bad one, the body will just shift all those bad ones to the side and use the good one that the body can use to for the building material for the as a building material for the things it's doing, and then the remaining begins to do the evil work they are supposed to do in the body too. Because the one that will build the body will build the body, the one that will damage the body will also damage the body. There is a particular nutrient that is found in chocolate, right? Which is very essential for uh, make for for sexual health. Right, for sexual health, right? That is why you see they say women love chocolate a lot. Right. If you <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> that is because is because of is because of that particular compound found in chocolate, right? Uh, today we're not talking about sexual health today. Maybe when next I come, we will talk about sexual health, what people can do to enhance their their sexual life, you know, because there are so many people, right? That there are some men. Who cannot go who cannot last three minutes and they're like they've used everything harbor they've done this they've done that again even that question too is not just one it's holistic there are certain things we must consider before we assume okay go and be taking about product somebody who has some stress issues cannot have a good libido there are so many things that i mean response i mean be responsible the same for a woman um the issue of orgasm or no orgasm you know for some women is a taboo like in, that, you still, it's like it has never happened before. They never reach out to them. Those women, that's what I will tell you. Sex na food. <laughs> that's what we say. Sex na food. For people who enjoy it, they know na food. They, 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 they know say na food. And the truth yeah. is that, yeah. yeah, the truth is that the serotonin and the serotonin and some other chemicals that are simulated when sexual activities get to the peak, they give you the same kind of pleasure that you derive when you eat food. Time we say sex not food, yes, not food, or it not be food, but it gives you the same pleasure. That is where the human body is formed, is is structured to react that way. But we must look at it holistically. So when your body is craving certain things, is because there is a deficiency. Craving means deficiency. There's a deficiency of that particular nutrient in your body, and deficiency is bad. For example, when there was kwashoko, kwashoko is an example of uh, deficiency. When people who are my, I mean, we have malnutrition, right? So we, we need to address it holistically. So a craving, basically, is a sign of deficiency. So instead of going for that particular food, the question would be, what minerals, what vitamin are you deficient in? Yeah. Fly that vitamin, that mineral in a healthy way, not in a way that will affect your health again. We give well, you the how, how, would, how would you know what you're deficient of? Or you go for you are craving you are craving chocolate. How would you know what you're deficient of? There are tests that are carried out. You can you, you go for your, your blood work, you go for a blood work, do a proper blood work. They will tell you all those ions, minerals, vitamins, they will tell you the ones that you should boost, the ones that you have in excess, the ones that you have enough. Okay. Thanks so much. I beg yeah. go. Guys, if you have questions to ask, ask who, because we are not spending too much time here. We've done 38 minutes already. We are not spending more than one hour here today. So if you never reach that. So guys, if you have questions, start to ask now. Make it not be so you can't be like, oh, when we want to leave, that's when you know, I'll be like, I have something to say. So ask now, okay? So, um, and guys, share or share so that others will benefit because this uh, matter and a serious matter. Uh -huh. So, uh, Mr. Deji, that uh, sex issue is what we'll come and talk about another day. Yes, so we're coming to talk about it another day. Lots of women, especially Nigerian women that were circumcised, they don't reach orgasm at all. They never did. They don't know how it happens. So it's something we have to come and talk about, talk about the solutions and all of that. Because um, with you, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned that there is nothing without solution. <laughs> you understand? Yes, so I've learned that there is nothing without solution. And it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's, if there is, if, if okay, it is like there is no solution again. It can be properly managed. You understand? So yeah, that that I have learned from you. You know, and thanks for that. So let's continue, I beg. Guys, share. Let's share. Let more people come. I know it's late, but guys, let's just try to share. So another thing is, um, people talk about 
drinking water a lot. Me, I've seen uh, weight loss programs when they will ask you to drink up to two gallons of water a day. I You will pee and pee. You will not sleep at night. You will not sleep. The matter is very serious because you want to lose weight. You will not sleep at night. So my question is, is it really necessary? Is is water necessary to weight loss? Does it really help you to lose weight? All right. Um, water is essential. We was not, we cannot, there can be no healthy plan anywhere, either for weight loss, either for disease management, that uh, water is going to be uh, downplayed. We cannot downplay the role water plays when it comes to effective management of all these conditions. But having said that, um, are you, I keep using the term garbage in, garbage out, mm -hmm. because it's relevant. You see, every time food comes into your mouth, whatever comes into your mouth, it goes through your, you know, your entire body, is processed into nutrients, converted into energy. Energy pumps the blood, and then it goes through every part of your body. The waste products are secreted and separated. You pass them through your handles, and then that is the end of the process. If it's not going through your handles, you pee it out uh, to your genitals. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, per time, there is a limit to how much your body can utilize and how much your body can use. Once your body gets to that limit, every other thing, no matter how good it is, will be passed out as waste. Everything. Which is why last oh, week... Oh, so, well, I'm listening to you. Okay, so last week, what we were talking on the show last week about people who, who just think because herbs and all of those things, they are natural products, and so they don't, you cannot overuse them, you cannot overdose on them. You know, you know that um, it is not true. You can actually overdose. Whatever you use that your body cannot take per time, your body is going to excrete it out. It's an overdose. And the same applies to water. Now, I advise people on how to drink water, and I tell them, Water should not be gulped. Aside from after a meal or before a meal, in the middle of a meal, it's not possible you hit water, you take water during a meal. You know, you know, probably after a meal or you take the water before the meal. Water should not be, you don't rush water, go, 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 and go. If you do that, you will garbage everything out. It's going to be yeah. past that and you're going to pee it out. So you need to drink water moderately and advisably. Water is needed. But it's not all of this noise people make all about it. Go and drink a drum of water. If you drink a drum of water or two gallons of water, you are going to pee. You just be going to the toilet every time. I've seen somebody who had issues with sleeping at night, and then you will not sleep at night. It has happened to me. I'm talking about my own experience. Yeah, you will pee. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Deji. But before we continue, I just got a super sticker. Yeah, thank you, Joy Fair Jai. Thank you. I just got a five pound super okay. sticker. Yeah, that's to tell you that we are doing well. I believe Mr. Yeah. Deji is doing well. <laughs> yeah, <that's number. laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the encouragement, sis. Uh -huh. So let's go on. <laughs> that's good. So what I advise people to do is that take water in sips. Take it gradually. Do not take water. Don't gulp water in bulk. It wouldn't do your body any good. Oh, right. okay. Thank you. Somebody said um she has a question for us. Okay. Oh, well, she tried to call, but um I didn't take the call. Oh. Wow. Um, you can call in now, Sister Yobosa. You can call in now. Okay. Yeah, you can call in now to ask your question. So um, you know what? Let's just take um like two or three calls, and that will be fine. That's it. All right, okay. Yeah, let's let's take two or three calls. So I'll just put up the number so they can call. All right. Three calls tops. Hello. 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 Yes, we can hear you. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Uh, uh, good evening. So I'm, I'm asking because when you go to hospital, they told you they will tell you should drink more water. But I think I don't know that it's my network, but it's, and now I'm hearing that water is no, is too much water is not good. Mm -hmm. Hello. Are yes. You me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello. We, we can hear you. We hear you well. 
we can hear you so so what is it what is your question like are you asking if too much water is good yes okay okay he just talked about it though so but um he, i think he will still answer that i'm hearing but he said, he said, he said too much of water i think i have that my network he said too much of water is not good so okay. i don't know maybe I'll... okay so um mr deji can you throw some more light on that one small please all right what what i said again because i drink a lot of water because i drink a I, I, one one of my calling i drink a lot of water so i just want to know if it's okay or not okay 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 so, now thank you let me say this i am an advocate of water you need a lot of you need water yes what i said is that too much of anything not of water too much of anything anything is bad bad so yeah. how much is enough or how much is too much is mm -hmm. a question that you would have to ask yourself. Now there are certain there is a I hopefully we'll be able to show in the next couple, maybe for our next show, I should be able to be able to be able to share screens. And so I can show people you know, grammatically uh, certain things that uh, you know I'm talking about. For example, the color of your urine, because what we want to avoid is dehydration. And dehydration is a terrible thing. And that is why you advise to drink water when you go to the hospital. I've seen people that when they eat a meal, instead of drinking water, they pollack, they top it up with a drink. Mm. That is not healthy for you. You cannot substitute water with a drink. Water is essential. Water is needed. Water is important. But how do you drink the water is also what is important. So if you just go and sit down, you carry two gallons of water at one seat and you go everything at once. You are going to pee everything out. It wouldn't be body any good. If you watch me and I keep doing this on any show I go on to, I cannot only show for one hour without taking my water. And I don't gulp the water. I just take a sip. And how do I mean? Because and I do that often. So it's not something in a day. This this bottle I use is about uh, five five hundred mils. In a day, I in a day I do this bottle like four times in a day. Mm -hmm. So that if you if you count that, that's about two liters. Which is what is required, which is a daily requirement. For your body, yes. For the body. Have the daily requirement for the body. Yes. But I sit down at one seat and say, okay, today I never drink water. You can't carry you carry a two gallons. Wow, 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 wow. You, you are going to enjoy yourself. Exactly. I, say, I had up the ones I eat, I drink when I'm having a meal. So I what I've done is that I've disciplined myself that I control the container with which I drink water with. So I can measure. That, okay, I, I've taken two of these today. I've taken four of these. So I can know that. Look, I've, been, I've had my adequate uh, uh, um, water. for water in a day. Yeah. Right. But when you sit down, you got two gallons of water at once. It's not going to do your body any good. So what I'm saying is that take them in bits, in pieces, break it down so that part time your body can actually assimilate and use the necessary things the body requires to use from your drinking that water it can maximize the benefit of drinking the water now the oh. chart i was talking about would show you what your body is going through per time if you are not taking enough water and if you're taking too much it shows them in color there are some people they are urine you when you go to the toilet and you, and you urinate their urine color is is pale some is orange some is yellow some is amber yeah. all of these are various shades of yellow right and then you have the clear one very clear you have the very very clear one very very clear it doesn't oh, you are drinking three gallons of water <laughs> oh yeah those are people drinking like three gallons of water every day drinking three gallons of water. In the bathroom when they pee their pee will be whiter than the toilet bowl uh -huh. mm -hmm. those ones are taking so much of water i'm not you know so there is a balance now if you are dehydrated before you drink water it's not a good thing it is when you are thirsty and you drink water that shows dehydration. So take water, make water a part of your life. Make it an essential, like you are breathing in here. Have a water bottle beside you everywhere you go. Just take the water, drink it. I, I have one too. I, I know there are some, there are some, all these feet beats, all these feet beats, uh, 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 wristband that people use these days. There are some of them that will, that will trigger you. I'm prepared though. I, I am very prepared. <laughs> there are some that will show you that you have not had water today. Take water. There are some that will remind you and be. It's time yeah. to take water. Take a water. Take a drink. Right. All of that is to help you moderate. Yeah, 
And that is important for weight management. Okay, you can take the next call. Okay. Hello? 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 Oh. We can hear you. Can Hello? you can you can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. You Good evening. Do you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. Okay. Um, my question goes this way. Is it um, possible for some someone's uh, metabolism to to have the same kilo always, irrespective of the situation um, the massa corpora may, may, may have? Is it possible that is a um, a person to have the same weight, whether passing stress or not, or whether okay. happy? And if it is possible, what could be the factors that make it like that? All right. Thank you very much for that question. Like I said, uh, stress is just one. There are several other factors. So some people, stress may not be the reason for their weight gain. So what what we first do? Good afternoon. Yeah. He said some people. He said he said um, um, stress might not be the reason for their weight gain. So, okay. yeah. So I said, I said there are several factors responsible uh, that we must consider while talking about weight management. I only used, I only said stress is one of them. I mentioned other factors. I mentioned about three or four so far. Now, stress is one of them, and for some people, stress may not have any effect on their weight at all. Whether or not they are stressed or they are not stressed, it doesn't affect their their weight, either weight gain or weight loss. For some people, let me let, let me tell you one one that will shock you. For some people, it is the use of some uh, skin care products, beauty products that have certain heavy metals in them that affect the ability to control their weight. Cream, body creams, oh. uh, deodorants, colognes, perfumes. For some people, it could be as simple as that, and they don't know. Yeah. And they are, they are dieting, starving themselves, paying money to so many people, and they don't even know why they are adding the weight. Am I saying too much, Sandra? <laughs> no, you're not. It's okay. It's, I'm, I'm, not the only, I'm not the only one that is that, 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 um, like that. Do. <laughs> so I'm not the only guilty one around here. <laughs> okay. So, so, so there are so many factors to consider, but it's unfortunate that the Nigerian syndrome is not a Nigerian syndrome because it's a global thing. I've seen people who just rush into surgery. They go do surgery because of weight loss, weight management. And the, the things that led them to the weight gain in the first place has not been addressed. If we do not address that, you are still going back to the same place, to the same point where you left off. And unfortunately, it is sad because they will be worse off than their beginning. The, the, the rise of, of, uh, of surgery of uh, cosmetic surgery, uh, you know, has been so pronounced in the last 15, 20 years. Let us wait in the next 10 years to begin to see the side effects and the results. Already, 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 as I speak, there are results that people are seeing, but it's not pronounced because it's a multi billion dollar industry that a lot of people are getting money from. So nobody's talking about it right now. So let us wait a few more years when people will begin to come out and say, open that look, this is the reason I'm like this because of the things I did to my body. Now, I'm not saying surgery, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery is bad. No, it's not bad. But the fact is that we need to address the other issues that are surrounding the person's weight gain. If those things are not addressed, having, having a surgery is a waste of time. A waste of time, yeah. Because I've seen situations whereby people actually have surgery and then they, gain, they still gain the weight. It comes back. You know, so yeah, probably they are doing the same things they were doing in the past. They didn't address any of those issues. So, um, my brother, did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. So my, my, please. And my second question goes like this: that um, some people believe that exercise is not um, the best way to. We have another to call. Uh, skipping. <laughs> Some, uh, some people believe that supporting it with strict diets, what, what is your opinion on to that? Okay, you want to take the other question before I answer this question? The, the line? 
No, it's okay. Just answer the question, but let's make it brief, brief, so that um, it's almost one hour. I didn't want us to do more than one hour. Right. Okay, thank you. Now, um, diet is just five percent of what you have to do to control your weight. Um, the remaining ninety-five percent, in my own opinion, has to do with so many other factors, which those factors I spoke about. They comprise all of those seven factors I mentioned. Uh, I didn't mention all the seven factors, but they are all part of the factors we consider while addressing weight management. Exercise is just about 5% of what it takes. I see people who go out there and they run and they gym, yet they are not losing the weight. Uh, somebody is watching me right now. She knows that she do all the exercise, but that will be day. I didn't want to tell anybody's name. It so, is well, oh God, we have all of us. <laughs> amen. amen, my sister. So <laughs> exercise is just 5%. And then the remaining five percent, if it's not, it's like somebody goes at an exam and you pass five. You have you score five. Have you passed? No, you have not. So the other factors must be critically looked into. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, my brother, for calling. God bless you. Bye. So the last call I can call back now. We'll take just one more call and we're done. So um, before the call comes back, guys, um, Mr. Deji is um, organizing a boot camp. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. Last boot camp. Fire, and, fire, really. Yeah, so I'm coming. Let's take the last call. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, good evening. Good evening. Do, you, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question for Dr. Liji. Okay, you can ask. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. I can hear you. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm uh, fine, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, my Thanks, question lovely. is uh, very simple. Why do you stop? Why do you add the weight from your stomach? Why do people have weight from their stomach because it actually starts from the stomach mm. all right thank you very much all right thank you very much let me say this i um because it's not easy if i'm from layman layman understanding I'm, I, I was going to begin to give you the science of that but let me just give a very layman explanation your stomach is the closest place to where the food goes to <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's the closest place. And that is where the weight accumulation begins from. Yes. And unfortunately, unfortunately, is the last place. If you begin to work out and do the exercise and the regimen, you start losing the weight from your thighs and from every other part of your body. From the stomach, the it's the stomach that will go last. <laughs> you know why? It's close yeah. to the thing. It's not for the kitchen. So if they eat all the food, <laughs> that's just a layman's explanation. Right? Yes, so. <laughs> so does that answer your question? Oh, okay. What? What? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. What if you don't want to? Uh, yes. But what if you don't want to add, add, I mean, reduce from other body, but you just want your tummy to to lose weight on your family what, mm. what do you do okay thank you very much um you see the <laughs> people are okay can you, maybe she, 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 she should reduce the volume of uh of uh whatever sort of the echo yeah. oh. okay now people there are times that in weight management we do what we call target targeted uh weight loss uh program Meaning that we target specific parts of the human body. Mm -hmm. For example, like question she asks right now, some people the only place where they are having issues is in their stomach, right? And then so how do we target that and get it done? But what I've known is that is that whatever plan that is working that addresses the issues that you are having that has led you to gaining weight, once you begin to address those factors, everywhere you have the excess weight, we begin to I mean, we begin to adjust correspondingly. They will. Mm -hmm. They will, they will quickly adjust and then you are going to lose weight in those places. The reason you have weight in your stomach is because the, that is the first place where the adipose tissues are found. And then when your body cannot digest certain food, they are stored up in those adipose tissues. And that's why you find that adipose tissues. So they are stored up as very fats. 
So it's easier. It's the easiest place for the body to push the excess food that your body cannot digest. So that, that is the reason. Right. Okay. So thank you very much, um, Kola. I guess um, he has been able to answer your question, right? Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. So, um, guys, thank you so much. No more calls. We're done for calls for today. We are going to have a part two of this topic. Hmm. Mr. Deji, yes, there's too much to talk about. And um, we have not started as a truth. There's too much to talk about. So, guys, I was talking about the boot camp. Yeah, he's going to have a weight loss boot camp. So, guys, if you want to lose weight, it is simple. If you want to lose weight, kindly join his boot camp. And guess what? For this program only, for us, is accepting only $10 for a three-month program. So, can you beat that, guys? For a three-month program, is accepting only $10. So if I were you, I go pack my friends, I go pack my family, my whole family when get body, I go pack all of them put for the program. It's just ten dollars. So um the phone number is oh my god, I'm supposed to put it up here. Okay, let me see if I can put it up here. Um it's okay. Just a minute, guys. Let me put it up. One, two, one, four, six, two. Four, two, seven, eight, three. Okay. That banner. So you see it's showing on your screen, guys. So that's the WhatsApp number. So if you don't want to join this boot camp, guys, it's just for $10 and it's going to last for three months with better results. Note that after three months, all those fats, they are going to be gone. It's only for this program we here. After this program, if you go behind anybody's back to go and do anything, it no go work. So it is this program. So guys, quickly grab this number showing on your screen. It um join the boot camp. It's on uh, on WhatsApp. So join, follow the number, for, um copy the number, join the boot camp. Ten dollars, you're there for three months weight loss program. So guys, thank um, you so much. Okay, you want to say something? Yeah, let me quickly make a conversation about, about a boot camp. Um, I've seen so many boot camps. Sorry. And, yeah, uh, like I said, you can just go. I'll, I'll be in the mix, okay? okay? Just go on, go on. Please. All right. Yeah. Okay, so um, there are no one size fits all when it comes to weight management. So the boot camp is not a one size fits all. What I'm going to do, what we'll be doing there, is to be able to make everybody have their customized plan, right? We've been able to know what each body type and what what each person would require, and so we will be able to put that up on the on the on the group, and then you pick your own type, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. We're gonna have the meal plan, which is really customized for each person that is on the boot camp. While we're doing this, um, I've been getting several calls and several messages talking about weight loss. I do that almost all the time. When people consult, they want me to consult for them on weight loss. I cannot run a program of three months with you for free. And um, how much do you charge? Oh, it's a lot of money we cannot do. So I said, well, um, I don't know what to do. So um, um, my managers were telling me that, well, let's open a boot camp, let's split the cost, and then let people pay what is little so that you can encourage more people to come. So if you are joining the boot camp, that number on the phone is a WhatsApp number. Let us say it again, that it's WhatsApp only. Do not call that number. It's WhatsApp only. So send a WhatsApp message saying boot camp. They will send you the account details which you are going to use in making the payment. Once the payment is made, with your proof of payment sent to that same number, they are going to be able to add you up to the group. After you have made the payment, a form will be sent to you where it did, you'll be asked some detailed questions about your type, your food type, your body type. They will be able to diagnose what exactly is wrong with you, What which area do we have to work on to address your weight issue. From all the seven uh reasons that uh, i didn't mention all of them yeah i just don't want to talk about all of that so when we look because of time it's not because i don't want to talk about it but for time about let me talking about that those seven issues because about if i on my youtube channel i did that for three good hours two hours i mean one hour 40 minutes one session another session one hour 20 minutes that about talk about those seven reasons and how to mitigate them to handle your weight management but if you join that boot camp you will have that questionnaire that you will go through that will make us identify 
what areas is actually troubling you that is not making you to lose weight adequately. So that would be the first step we do. We do a diagnosis. After the diagnosis, then a meal plan is given to you. Your fitness plan is given to you. Your tracking is given to you. And then there is peer, uh, um, uh, 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 peer review, so to speak. So we can monitor you. We all move together. And then we give us assess a target. I have somebody who is I'm consulting for right now. Um, in, in less than two weeks, she has dropped like 12 kg. Yeah. And for me, I thought I felt that that is just too much. I said, yeah. no, no, that is not healthy. That means that the system that you are using is kind of too aggressive. Hmm. That is the approach that you are applying. You are doing everything that you should do, but it's aggressive. Now, because it's aggressive now, I will have to tone down on certain things for her. All these are things that, you know, work management is like you going for a doctor for being sick. And you are giving medication to use and then they are managing what you are using. That's the same way it is. So my advice, $10 won't kill anybody for three months. Send, uh, send a WhatsApp. That number is for WhatsApp only. So send a WhatsApp message to that number saying that you want to join in the weight management bootcamp. Once you send it, an account details will be given to you to make the payment. Once the payment is made, you'll be added on, on the group. Okay. So, uh, thank you so, so much. Thank you so very You're much. You're welcome. Today, we have learned a lot from you. So, it's on your screen, guys. Weight loss bootcamp. WhatsApp that number. It's on your screen. To join. Run. Me, I'm going to carry myself, my friends and my families. I go pack my fans, join. So, that 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 that, that uh, bootcamp, now we get them. One goes scattered the place. <laughs> One goes scattered the place. Now we get them. <laughs> okay, um, Ola Adeshina says, What of people when get protruding? Um, oh, sorry, not that one. When get protruding belly, yeah, I think it covers everybody. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned that that the moment we are able to identify what is wrong and then we start working on it, it's going to address where the excess weight is. Yes, so bring the, bring the belly come, no shaking. Yeah, we, we, so, have, you, we have you covered. All right, all right. So, uh, Mr. Deji, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. So before I leave, I always advise people, <laughs> look on your screen, see his YouTube, follow him on, uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, Instagram, see it's showing there. It is for free. You are not paying anything, guys, I beg. This is the best you can do. See, everything we're getting for free, you are not paying for it. So this is the best you can also do to support Mr. Deji, so I beg, so subscribe to his YouTube channel. You go now, you go see me down. Yeah, subscribe then Instagram, follow him and to, to, to get the best from him. Okay, he's very simple. See what he's giving to us it's just ten dollars for three months boot camp. Una know how much I don't pay for weight loss matter. If I tell Una, Una no go believe for this life. Una go believe, Sha, because some of Una self don't pay past me. <laughs> some of Una don't pay past me. So I take God, take back all of us. Make we take, grab this opportunity. When we see opportunity, make we recognize that, and then make we take. So just simply copy the number for ten dollars only. For those in Africa, ten dollars should be about um, no, how much a dollar? Three hundred or something naira. That's, the, that's not four fifty now. I'm not sure. That's what, sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Imagine. So how much? Maybe if it's too much, now five thousand. You know, go even rich. Mm -hmm. For three months, three months weight loss, three three months. Ah, that's a lot. I beg. Namigo, we make una come the boot camp. Nami una go meet there. You're so very rich, then I'm the chairman. So mm -hmm. Nami will go first sit here. So um Mr. Deji, in the absence of any other thing. Okay, um Joy F A says oh. tell, tell Dr. Deji say I said three boza. Oh, thank you very much. Boza, 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 he deserves it. Thank and, you. Uh, this is um, Joy Fe that, um, that that gave us um, five pounds. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you very much. Now, better person, now, better person. She says, she, she says she's enjoying the show. Wow, awesome. Now, now, now she, just, she just quickly knock and put, you know, <laughs> super sticker. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Baba Balola says, I have missed a lot too. Oh, yes, so oh, my brother, you miss you. Not be smart, see you. Your sister, not a brother. <laughs> oh, 
or Sylvia. <laughs> yeah, that's Sylvia. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> you miss not be small, but you can always go back to watch this video because this video are uh, make a shout out now. Everybody has to see this. We are gonna have part two. So this is part one. So I, have in mind, we are gonna have a part two. You go come for us, you know see the video now. Um, <laughs> uh, my 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 girl the talk is just bust well it's just it just bust me now to act to tell me that i should clarify it and it's the truth because sometimes people say canadian dollars mm -hmm. canadian dollar is not it's not the no. same as us dollars it's us dollars so not be canadian dollars, US dollars, US dollars not 10 canadian dollars so in Nera, that should be about four four thousand five hundred there about so uh -huh. let's not make it open and clear Joy, I pay a giant one kilos with super sticker. Another five pounds super sticker. Yay! Today, today, uh, uh. Don't come, oh, Mister Deji. Money don't show. Oh wow! Oh, wow. thank you so much. We appreciate this. Thank you, Joy. Jai, thank you so much. You know, it's nice, it's nice when you have people who appreciate what you are doing. Oh, exactly. When you have friends and family support you, I yeah. wish you are doing this. Yeah. It's a really great thing. Thank you so much, Madam Joy. Thank oh. you. Oh, God bless you. See, better person. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lucky, your DI says, God bless you richly. Thank yeah. you very much, Mr. Thank Lucky. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh. It's not for women alone because I, I, I see men struggle with their own weight loss issues. You know, when men begin to pass the age of 35, the belly weight is an actual issue for men. Mm. Uh, yeah, the belly weight is just beginning to, you know. So um, we will also address that there. So um, it's not just for women. It's it's. Uh, okay. Oh, Mr. Um, Sylvia wanted to give us sticker. It's on YouTube. If you want to give us sticker, go to YouTube. <laughs> we are we are we are um, streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to give us sticker, then you can attack our talk. So if, if you go to um YouTube, it's showing on the screen right now, Sandra Duba official. We are streaming there right now. So when you go there right now, you'll be able to give us the five the um super sticker. Any amount you want to put, you can put it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, wouldn't they wouldn't they gather money? You'll see money don't show. Hey, thank you, Sylvia. Hey, wouldn't they get no, you know, at times when you use your heart to do things, you're not expecting anything from it. But well, people see what you do, they want to appreciate you. It's a good thing. And uh, and I pray that God will, God will also bless you guys richly because, um, yeah, he will bless you guys because Biniko say, Okbo Messi, or when you're now in your way. Now, would they talk thank you? Now, they make they do another good for us. So, now, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Deji. Well, uh, yeah. so, uh, give us give us your final advice now before you go. Uh, the best advice Some I can sleep with. Yeah, the best advice I can give people is that one, subscribe to all these channels. Uh, go to the uh, Nutraceutical Health page, subscribe, subscribe to Sandra's channel also on YouTube so that you can also have these updates. Um, so much, so much on the on our YouTube channel on health. Uh, COVID-19 and other related cases are there. Um, number two, please. Yeah, thank you, Madam Sylvia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, subscribe there and then ensure that um, if you have issues with weight loss, please go ahead and uh, and uh, subscribe and uh, call that, uh, send a message, a WhatsApp message to that number. Maybe uh, you can put that number up again. And this year, uh, Instagram on the Instagram page, you can still get the number there on the link tree. When you check the link tree on the bar on Instagram, that number is going to be there for you to call. Just see which love boot camp is going to be there for you to kind of track it and then you'll be able to manage that appropriately. They will give you the number, the number to pay into, and you'll be added to the boot camp. We are having between now and the end of the month of May, so we are starting by the first of June. June, so, yes, that's good. There should, of, be, there should be a time um, limit, yes. Now, and then the last day in May, today is 22nd, so between 22nd and then the last uh, uh, last day in May. So by the last day in May, we are going to stop for dispatch. If at all you miss it, that means you are going to wait for another three months. 
because we want to be sure that it's in three months. And I can guarantee anybody who is going to join that, we're talking about losing between 25 to 50 kg. I can guarantee anybody that. Hey, so, let okay. me start dancing in advance. Hey, see, weight loss. Oh. <laughs> and to go the price below, you go take change your wardrobe. <laughs> no, I don't buy club yet. I go just wait. When I don't lose the weight, finish, I'll come by him, you know. Ah. Yeah, no <laughs> so I take God they're gonna seize this yeah. opportunity. You know, our people, what we actually get for free or what we get for small money, we know Sabi take advantage of for of them. Now the one that won't tell us now say hundred dollars. I will come the price, say I beg gonna not do ninety-five. Now that kind of thing we they like. They'll say I'm a big money also because I'm a big money must work. I beg. That's why I bring this kind of opportunity for you with mm -hmm. how much? Just 10 US dollars for three months, not be one month. Oh. Right. I don't know how those people they do all those keto program, keto diet. I don't know how much all those people they pack. They, they pack the money and you they pay monthly. And you could do one wicked street diet and you'll be like, make it just by yourself, see yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you're going to yourself, say, I've been there. So if I they talk, I'm not trying to talk, I've been there. Now you're going to just tell yourself, say, I'll just walk out for a sometimes. I'll say, ah. I just see people were really fat, were really just fat, you know, heavily and out front and back, side <laughs> set. When I come see the person, me come look because I say, ah, no be person did this. The person he never there. If they carry body, they go. Which fat I fat? I beg I they go and go chop my chocolate. I can't fit key myself. You understand? So mm -hmm. Naim. So I believe say with this kind of one now, one, one do so. I believe say it's gonna be. It's. I don't think it's gonna be too harsh on us. I think um with his understanding. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be a harsh one. Yeah, and with with, with uh, Mr. Deji's understanding, you know, of um how it actually works. See how he has been taking us from one place to another, from this to that. How you know your body type, and so it's like he's gonna be working with us individually. He's gonna be working with us individually. So guys, I beg, make gonna seize this opportunity. If you're not fit, pay. Come tell me. Now, lie, will not tell me. Pay your tea, pay my own. <laughs> So thank you guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Deji. I really appreciate you. Thank you for coming today. I beg. Say it here. Now, when are we doing the part two? <laughs> um, let me I have to check my <laughs> I don't want to make any promise. I'm a bit of a few. <laughs> so um we don't mind on Sunday. We don't mind Sunday. Okay, all right. Uh, not not this Sunday. Are you talking about this Sunday? Yeah. This one now, I beg now. That's why I want us to say it here now, so that we won't, we, 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 I won't go and start dragging you. Oh, come now, come. No, let's just say it here now, openly, <laughs> free and fair. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Um. All right. I'll check my. I'll check my schedule and see whether it's um, a gap, a window, an open window this Sunday. If there is, that we can make it this Sunday. Okay, please, please, right. please. We would, we would appreciate it because we really we really want to learn a lot, please. And thank you. So thanks for joining us. Thanks. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for joining us. So enjoy. Oh, boy. I'm always kicking myself out of my own studio. Can you imagine? So, guys, so thanks for joining us. So, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, you guys are appreciated. Thank you all. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Joy Faye. Thank you, Oda Boy Yobosa. Thank you, Lucky ODIC. Everybody that came out today for us. Lovely and Frederick. Thank you, everyone. Edogun, thank you so much. You guys are lovely. Mm, 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 mm. You guys are lovely. I take or take bed now. You guys should subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to put it up, guys. Subscribe, oh, let me put it up so you guys can subscribe. Hey, John. So that's the best you can do for me. Eh? That's apart from the super sticker. <laughs> you guys, you guys should subscribe. See, it's showing on your screen. My YouTube is Sandra Idubo Official. My Instagram is Sandra Idubo Official. My Facebook page is Sandra Idubo's page. Please, guys, I did beg, I did beg, I know they force and so, so uh, to, for you to subscribe is free. You are not paying anything to subscribe. Just kindly subscribe, kindly subscribe, so that um I'll be encouraged to do more. I'll be encouraged to bring in people that will come educate you. You know, 
it's good to be informed. You know, they say knowledge is power. And that's what I'm out here for. I want my people to be knowledgeable. Because when you know something, you will not fall um, into trouble when it comes to that particular thing. So, guys, please, please, and thank you. Subscribe, okay, guys? So, like I said before, I have released another um, episode of Village People to Read. So, for those of you that does not know the uh, other part of me, I am also a comedian. Okay, guys. So, I want to make you guys laugh. I want to make you guys happy. So, I try my best to do things that will put smiles on your faces. So, just try, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. you get everything. Do not forget to click on the notification bell. Because when you um, click on that bell, whenever I upload new videos, you'll be the first to see them. Okay, guys. So, Love, love from me to you guys. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be live here with Ebony or Basu you tomorrow. Yeah. So for those of you that want to know who Ebony or Basu is, come tomorrow, you'll find out. She's a Nollywood superstar. She's a, a, a script writer. She's a movie producer, director, you know, all the big, big things. So guys, if you want to know who Ebony is, Kindly join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. When you check my Facebook, you see the flyer there. I'm going to put it up now. So you see the flyer there. Join us at 3 p.m. Um, Canada and U.S. time tomorrow. And then it will be 8 p.m. Nigeria and Europe time, U.K. time. So join us tomorrow. And you'll be glad you did. Just come out, come and have fun. Since this COVID-19 matter, don't could lock everybody from inside the house. What to do? So it's just to come outside. Oh, thanks for the love, um, Sister Yubosa. I really appreciate you. You are too much. Thank you. Um, Joy Faye says, good night. Please, when no, oh, make I prepare well, well. So, um, Joy Faye, which one you want to prepare for? Is he um, Ebony or Basu's own, or is he um, Mr. Deji? I better prepare for the two. So, Mr. Deji, I believe he's going to be coming on, on um, Sunday. So, we're going to get a time for Sunday. But for Ebony, it is tomorrow. Okay, Ebony, I'll pass to you. Okay, okay. So that one is tomorrow at 3, um, 8 p.m. UK and Nigeria time. 3 p.m. Canada and USA time. So Ebony will be there live and direct. Come and see Ebony live. Prepare your questions. And Mr. Deji, okay, yes. So Mr. Deji is Sunday as well. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Love, 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 love. Real love will not be, you know, the second one love. Will not too much. Without you guys, I won't be here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your commitment. And I want to say special thank you, special thank you to Sister Yobosa, Odabo Yobosa. As I'm going to say thank you to every other person here today. Thank you. This woman, mm, she will go above and beyond to make sure I'm seated here today. So thank you so much, sis. I really appreciate you. Joy FA, God will bless you. You too much. Many of us be not know that they call super sticker. Now you can carry super sticker. Come, you come make us know say super sticker not to appreciate what the presenter they do. So super sticker, if you buy super sticker for the for whoever is presenting, they get the money. So that's how it works. So thank you very, very much for introducing it to us some of us who i not know before thank you so much i appreciate you guys i love you i love you i'll see you guys again okay ciao bye